it's one of our finest Anglican buildings, but it's also got a big reputation for art. Salisbury Cathedral has had statues of the Magna Carta barons and even poetry projected onto its roof. Its latest exhibition is hard to miss. Giant sculptures of hares and mythical creatures dotted around the lawn and cloisters. It's the handiwork of Sophie Ryder, who was there today to see the final pieces being put into place. Let's cross now to uh, Edward Salt, who's live at the cathedral. And uh, Edward, it's behind you. <laughs> It certainly is. It's like boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, welcome to the grounds of uh, Salisbury Cathedral. And as you rightly pointed out, I've made a new friend today. Let me introduce you to her. Here she is. Her name is Rising. It took two years for her to be built. And she's made, would you believe, out of over a tonne of galvanised wire, a tonne of the stuff, it's hard to believe. Now it's all part of the Relationship Festival, as you mentioned, that starts here on Friday. And I've been lucky enough to spend the day with the sculpture behind it all. And here's how I got on. There are some new visitors to the grounds of Salisbury Cathedral, and they're already creating quite a stir. Weird because yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. That's modern so, art, I suppose. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. we're the old school. I think they're great. Um, I wasn't so sh sure at first how I was going to respond to them. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, no, first time. <laughs> and you're exciting, impressed. exciting. Yeah. It's taken over 18 months for many of these sculptures to be painstakingly handmade, and for the lady responsible, it's a project she was never going to give up on. Based on, all based on my family really, it's the life that I lead. I live in a very isolated place and I'm surrounded with, I have four dogs and I work every day. I don't sit and wait for an idea to come to my head, it's, they're all in there already, they, they just come naturally out. But this isn't the first exhibition of its kind at Salisbury Cathedral. For those in charge, they want it to get people talking. This is a wonderful place for people to come in, um, engage with the art and perhaps draw them into the building where we can have a further discussion. And as the last few pieces are carefully installed, it's certain that this looks set to be an exhibition that will turn heads. Yeah, it certainly has. We've actually been speaking to a group of French school ch children today who are visiting the cathedral. They were absolutely amazed at the sheer size and scale of these installations here in Salisbury. Just a bit of information for you. The event actually starts on Friday and it runs all the way through until the beginning of July. I quite like rising here, but I'm not sure I'll get her in the car to bring her back to the office. Back to you. <laughs> you need a big garden as well. Thanks very much, Ed. <laughs> I have to say, they are spectacular and definitely worth going to yeah. have a look Absolutely. at at Salisbury Cathedral mm. all the way through the summer, as Ed says.